Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look. I think it's one of those unique products that I just need to revisit today. So when you're looking in China, there are so many weird looking devices, but I think this will be one of those, let's say top five products that are quite unique and not like a typical knockoff from an NES Mini Classic. No, something really cool and really unique. So what makes this thing now so interesting? So the downside to this thing is, I'm just going to point it out, it comes with an AV out cable. In other words, there is no HDMI functionality. It comes with two controllers, an adapter and a console. So the name Shell NES is a reason they're using this. Because it's basically a shell, not of a NES, but it's basically a shell of a cartridge from a NES. These were the cartridges where I grew up with. I think a lot of you, that you could just go to plug in your system and play. And this is not your, let's say, typical multi-game card or whatsoever. No, this is actually the system itself. And that makes it pretty damn cool. Here you can see over here, we do got like through the O port USB for the controllers, input 5 volt micro USB for the power. And here we do have like the on and off switch. But the on and off switch, you can see over here, we do have PAL and NTSC. It's quite interesting. And then I have like, of course, your typical reset button that we're going to need if you want to reset the system. And we have a tiny jack out for AV out. I wish they like made one with HDMI, that would be so cool. You can see like because of the case is translucent, you can see like the PCB is very tiny. It's not like the cartridge is fully filled. So I think, yeah, I think that this does make this thing extra special when it comes to the way how they made it. And I think it's just a very cool collectible in my collection. Okay, so this product was not cheap, I'm going to be honest with you. So what I do like about it, it came with everything that you're going to need. And also the controllers were not very bad quality. They are even coming with the turbo controllers. The turbo controllers because you do have like two additional buttons for having the turbo. It's very convenient for a couple of games like in Shmup or like the Kung Fu style games I play. So, and overall you feel that it is not like 100% authentic to the original, but it comes very close. It has been made fairly cheaply, Here you can see like the very thin wires, but this is just what we're going to get with these controllers. A very long cable, that is convenient, but I can tell you if you want to plug in your typical as a USB controller, it's just most of the time it doesn't even work. So if the controls go to be broken in the future, you do have a problem. Alright, so let's connect the device with the AV out function. Yeah, I know some people wanted to see this device on a CRT. Maybe you can make like extended videos about that. Let's plug it in here. Let's get myself a USB cable. We can of course use the USB if you want to from the television. It doesn't have enough juice. Otherwise, we're going to need the adapter. So the biggest downside that you're going to get is this is going to be like a freaking cable nightmare. So normally with a console, we're going to get the connection from the back. But this, oh boy, this is a cable nightmare to the maximum level. Okay, so let's power it on. And let's take a close look at the menu, because that, there are not a lot of games, but I'm curious about the collection itself. Alright, so let's take a close look at the list itself. I have no idea where this music is from. Okay, so there are a lot of familiar games on it. Oh, by the way, we don't have a quick load, quick save function, like with the original NES Mini Classic. It's just old school. So that's it. That's the list. So I already mentioned that there is a switch on here. They can switch between Paul and the other region. So let's check out if it works. Menu. This is Paul. Let's go to the other settings. It sounds indeed a little faster. Okay, so let's try a game. Let's choose Adventure Island. Okay, same game. I can hear a lot of interference, by the way. And uh, let's go to the other region now. But there was a significant difference between the speed of the games. So from now on, I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so let's see how the quality is with this game.
The control plays just like an original controller. It's just superb. Crap. Come here, you stupid thing. Crap. So the games itself seems to be playing just fine. I did notice like the colors are a little bit off, but it's due of the AV out. And I fell for it again. We don't have a quick load and quick save function. But I tried out the games that has the save option inside the game itself. And you can see like with this game it seems to be running just fine. And also when it comes to the save function. So yes people we can save with this weird clone cartridge. Alright so let's disconnect this cartridge game system. And let's open it up because I am curious what are we going to get in the inside. Yep. It's translucent so we can see some parts but just wanted to open it up and see how it is with the save function for example you can see like it seems to be working but is there a battery inside because i'm not a big fan of those things because if it's going to be like a dead battery you're going to lose your freaking save files so that's something we're going to take a close look at in the inside okay let's remove the three parkers and let's very gently pry it open and let's see if we can manage to check inside because I want to know oh crap the downside is this is just a sticker so we need to remove it very gently and then we can open it up okay so I do like the shell format and if you need to open it up and yep there is a battery in here so if you need to replace the battery itself because I don't think they will go up to three four years or something like that that I read somewhere Oh, you need to remove the sticker a couple of times. So the construction wise, I am not a big fan of it. But let's take a close look at this. Oh crap. Of course, wicked. Just do it like that. After that, it will not stick anymore. God damn. damn it. Stupid sticker. It's always going to get like that. Damn it. But let's take a close look at the board itself. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is what we're going to get inside. Now we have the sample. The main board itself we can look into the chips itself because we couldn't read them when it was built inside the cartridge so over here we're going to get the special mxic it's a chip that is made in taiwan i did some digging around so this macrotonic if i'm saying it correctly from taiwan they are using this chip in a multi-game card sometimes here and there and over here we're going to get a special chip the sharp from japan and it seems to be that this is a ram chip i looked it up with some information the other chips couldn't find any information whatsoever but what i find very interesting about this is that they are done not using like really horrible chips in overall the battery so the battery if it goes dead it's a little bit of a bummer because you need to remove the sticker every single time i think if you're doing it twice or maybe 30 times yeah the sticker at the front is going to be messed up so it's not going to be an easy swap of course we can basically swap it out very easily but opening it up that is going to be the major problem all right so it's not a new product so i think this is the day that i made it like in 2020 so last year ah, that's the thing that they always doing like selling it like new models or new editions it is not the first edition it's the version 1.04 but okay so let's put back in and let's talk about the final conclusion what i'm a f oh, i said like the final thoughts about this product the Shell Nest is more like a great example of products they make there that are like unique, something you won't see in your typical store, depending on what kind of games are even included. The only thing is like the improvement that this device will need is an HDMI and also 118 collection is not very good because there are good games, but what you're going to get are like a lot of good games are missing out. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this. Would you consider picking this up? Would you or do you already picked it up? Some maybe some already did it like a very long time ago because this product is on the market for some time. There are not a lot of resellers out there. But nevertheless, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become one of the wicked family, and it will be great to see you in the next video.